Hello, I am happy to share my second quarter update. First, we achieved all our budgeted goals for the world-class Conference on Architecture and Design in Washington, DC. We had a sold out expo hall. We exceeded our exhibit and sponsorship goals and had higher attendance than last year. Thank you to those of you who were able to join us. Attendees enjoyed the tours, education sessions, and networking, along with a gala at the National Building Museum to celebrate all of our award winners in one event. We held camp activities for 60 K through 12 students, building on the success of April's Architecture Week, where chapters, firms, and affiliated organizations invited students to explore architecture and design. We also hosted our annual business meeting during the conference. I've included a link to the meeting summary in this email. Earlier this quarter, I also attended the D7 conference, a first of its kind summit of CEOs of the top seven design organizations. We focused on collaborative solutions to industry challenges. Thank you to AIA Kansas City for hosting this important gathering. Last month, I met with former Columbia, South Carolina Mayor, Steve Benjamin, who is currently serving as the Senior Advisor to the Director of Public Engagement at the White House. Mayor Benjamin is a great friend to AIA, and he continues to be an advocate for bringing architects to the table to address pressing issues. We discussed the administration's rollout of the federal definition of zero emissions buildings at AIA 24, and the appointment of architects to boards and commissions within the administration. We also spoke about opportunities to showcase the work architects have done to advance climate action. Recently, President Kimberly Dowdell and I advocated for a chief architect in every city at the U.S. Conference of Mayors summer meeting. We advise mayors that architects are their partners for progress when it comes to the civic issues and challenges in their communities. Several mayors informed us that they plan to take action on our request. In closing, I want you to know that AIA is focused on advocating for you and the profession. My team and I are committed to AIA's mission and values, and I look forward to continued success in the year ahead. Thank you.